Alright guys, hello, um, welcome to the den, uh, we are going to, a lot of things are going to be changing here soon because I have decided that I'm probably going to start streaming back up again, what I'm going to be doing, I don't know, probably a lot of simulation like trucking and stuff, um, just to kind of get things open, uh, get my foot back in the door, kind of see where it goes, um, uh, so a lot of things with my channel is probably going to change, um, so it's just going to be a lot of see and wait, um, I've got a lot of things I got to deal with, projects I have to finish, a lot of graphic stuff, everything, um, I know it's been a while, I've decided after seeing numerous, numerous <laughs> messages in the Discord for Roland, um, about how to do the visors, how to do step boxes, things like this, all the interior stuff, all the open depth stuff. I'm just going to make a video really quick. I know I already technically did one, um, but it was for Dom's 379. It wasn't technically rolling. So now it, the process is still the same for pretty much both trucks. Even Ruta's stuff is technically the same process, just different name, pro clicks, you know, things like that. So we're going to do one very specific to the rolling truck. Um, in its current 1.44.1 update, um, we have visors, um, and I have, uh, I haven't done a visor yet because I personally don't want stuff on my visor, it's not what I do, I usually run the same visor on every truck I drive for the most part, with the exception of one truck so far, which is my cattle hauler, um, because it's modeled off of another truck, um, so, that being said, I do have example textures for other slots. Um, I'm going to be showing you how I do everything. Um, but for the most part, uh, you can just use your open def. It's a lot easier for me personally to do it the way I do it because of my skinning that I do as well on top of that. So usually I have a skin on top of my textures I'm adding to the same file. So it's easier for people to have one file than rather just throw them a bunch of textures and say, put this in your open def, do this, this, and this, and have them come back at me and complain that they can't figure it out. Um, so it saves me a lot of hassle, saves them a lot of hassle when they can just literally drag, drop, and throw everything in. So I'm going to do my process um, probably later down the road. Usually you'll see me do it in a video. I've done it in a couple videos, but I think in this case... I'm just going to use the open def, show you how it works, um, what it does, how it's supposed to go. Um, obviously, I'm always here for questions, but um, yeah, with my long ass intro there, let's actually, you know, get started with this. Um, so I'm going to do that. So here we are. Um, normally, I'd be doing this in Photoshop, but <laughs> real life got in the way, so I don't have my Photoshop at the moment. Um, so while I'm temporarily not using that, I'm using paint.net, which is kind of helpful because it allows me to get more creative, I have to figure out things, you know, just Photoshop makes things too easy, let me put it that way. Um, so essentially we got a visor, so right, so um, if you look and you can see I also have um, different things, so this is, so if you're using the custom um, custom interiors, the dashboard, the custom dashboards, um, this is what would go in that little logo in the door, um, so this is my personal logo and my personal colors for my custom truck that I usually run when I run with everybody else, um, this is one of my buddy's things, um, this goes above the box in the plaque, uh, this is my personal step box logo, um, as you can see, it goes to the same track. This is my personal license plate that I created. Um, yeah, uh, which I mean, I like. It's it's me. I live in Washington, so this is how I would represent my state and everything. Yes, I'm a Seahawks fan. Don't give me shit for it, or I'll hit you. Um, and then this is the hood ornament um, for my buddy's truck. This this guy's truck. Um, and I just pulled them out of a skin pack I already had. I don't feel like recreating fresh textures right now, so the only one I'm going to do is the visor. So on personal testing, it's recommended you do halfway point of the visor, because the top half will usually be covered by the top of your truck. 
So I'm actually going to quickly find halfway points. So this is a 2048 by 512. So 512 up and down. So we need to find, um, what is it going to be? So 500, 250, 256. Quick math. I mean, I can pull out my calculator and be like, you know, all fancy and be like, you know, 512 divided by 2 is going to be 256. Yeah, so, um, but I mean, I just did in my head. But so we need to find 256. So here's 240, 250s, 256 right here. So we're going to take a single line. We're going to create um, this. So this is just a guide. I usually do this with actual guides in Photoshop. But because I'm not in Photoshop, I'm just going to use lines and create my own guides. So I'm going to make it red, which is usually what is in Photoshop for me. And that's going to be my guide layer. So I'm not going to touch this and I'm not going to touch this. As you can see, I'm creating new layers. So now this isn't 100% accurate, especially for this visor. Um, actually, if I would uh, test I did, it's actually going to be a little bit higher than this. So it's right about here-ish. It's about the halfway point of the visor itself. So if I actually did this, um, and I went here to here, that's going to be 325. And so this, I'm going to need my calculator because so many numbers, 325. Um, 265 so minus 65 so that's 260 pixels so we divide that by 2 and that's going to be 130 so my halfway point is going to be actually roughly about 130 so we're actually going to have to that should be yeah okay so that's not right. That's not even close to being right. Hold up. 260. Oh, 130 from here. My bad. Okay, so it starts at, what, 65? So 130. It's going to be 195. So I was... <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to talk about it. So it actually needs to go way the fuck down here um, there we go so it needs to be at 195 so basically anything below this line point um, is going to show up visible from inside the cab when you're interior view um, everything above that line will not show up I'm just going to tell you that right now that's probably going to be your best case um, if you want to do this the first time without having to look at a game, realize, oh shit, all my shit's fucked up. Now I got to redo my texture. Um, this is also why I save things in projects. So PSDs, um, PDNs, um, so PSD is Photoshop's, uh, save file. So it's a photo, Photoshop directory or something like that. And PDN is a paint.net, um, file extension. <laughs> Um, but basically it saves your project in its layer form. So like if I saved it like this and opened the PDN back up, it would open up these three layers exactly like it is completely editable for me to edit in the future. Now, um, I'm not going to bother with that because I'm pretty much going to get this right the first time. Um, <laughs> not to sound cocky or anything. I didn't need that layer. Uh, but I just <clears throat> been doing this for four years. You know, it, things get easy. Um, okay, so what I didn't prepare for, which was stupidly my fault, was the fact that I didn't have the texture that I was going to add to this. Now, I already showed somebody once already what I was going, what I, uh, some thing that I already did, um, which is fine. I mean, um, I taught him how to do it. He figured it out. It was good. It was, per it was great. Um. Uh, but yeah, so we're just going to do a little pinstripe. So we have my little pinstripe lady here, right? 
So we are going to put her on both sides of, so, okay, this is the other side. So we're going to put her on both sides. We're going to put her on the left and we're going to put her on the right. Um, so now here is the important part. So when you were doing it, so what I did was I opened, so we're going to close this, I opened my um, logo that I was going to do in a separate, and I can't say this enough, in a separate thing. So what I did was I had it here, and I just dragged it open, and I clicked open. I did not click add layer, I did not, and I did not click, I clicked open. So now let's see, so if I'm here, and I'll show you what happens. If I do this, and I click add layer, it's going to expand your canvas, and it's going to fuck everything up. I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to fuck everything up, and you're going to hate yourself later for it. So, always open in, in a new project, especially with Paint.net. Now, if you're in Photoshop, different story. But, if you're in Paint.net, just open in a new project. Then you click your little tool here. Um, I'm going to deselect it. You're going to click this. I'm going to click my layer. It's going to border the entire canvas. I'm going to hit Control-C and copy it, and then I'm going to hit Control-V and paste it. Now... This is what it's going to give you. Um, for one, make sure you're in a fresh layer untouched by everything. I am in a fresh layer. It has nothing on it, so it's fine. You have three options here. Cancel, expand, keep. Um, never use expand. Never, 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 never. You might as well have just dragged your thing on there because see, it does the exact same thing I just told you. Uh, I just showed you earlier. Um, we're not doing that, period. Don't ever do it. So now I'm going to hit Control V again. Um, if you click Cancel, it's obviously going to cancel it. But we're going to click Keep Canvas Size. Now you can see it doesn't fit. Obvious. That's obvious. It's a hundred times bigger than my visor. Um, here's how we're going to fix it. So you can see the border is still there. So we're just going to grab this. We're going to hold Shift at the same time so it keeps the aspect ratio. If you didn't, it's just going to do this. But you want to keep the aspect ratio. And we're just going to resize it, put it about where we want it, resize it some more, and just basically keep it where it is, right? Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to expand it a little bit more. Now see, this isn't perfect because it's paint on net. Sizing is never perfect. When you get close up, it gets jagged. Um, there's a way around it, defaulted, um, but for now we're going to do it this way. So. Now that we have our lady on here, right? She's on here, she's pretty, she's sitting perfect. Um, is there anything else I want to add to this? I don't think there's going to be anything else I want to add to this. Um, not really. So, that being said, we are going to leave her there. We are going to copy the whole layer. That's important. Um, because I want to duplicate this to this side without having to go through all the process. So we're going to make a new layer. We're going to paste her in there. So she's there. Like if we move this around, she's there. So we have two copies. And I did this in a new layer so that it doesn't affect the first layer. Um, and then we're going to go up to here to layers. And we're going to flip it horizontally. Now she's on the other side. Perfectly sitting. She's beautiful. Amazing. And she's there. Um, exactly in the same position as the other one. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to worry. And because it's exactly what I want, I'm going to merge my two layers because I want them to be on the same surface. Um, that being said, now we're going to fix our little issues. So if we go to distort here and we go to oblique, now technically this, um, you don't mess with these because these are technically, it's going to um, kind of curve it like that. You see how it like does some weird jagged shit yeah so we're just not gonna do that um but we are what we're gonna do is we're gonna bump this up anti-aliasing we're gonna leave the step factor but we're just gonna bump this up to the max um and we're gonna hit okay and what it's gonna do when you zoom in is it's gonna blur your edges it's gonna add a finer blur to it um so that when you get closer the detail is still technically preserved yeah it's a little blurry but when you zoom out, the detail is more defined. <clears throat> and we're not going to be looking at this close up. We're going to be looking at this, you know, from the position of our seat. And basically, we are going to, yeah, so, I mean, we want the distance, we want the preserved details at a distance. So this is perfect. 
Um, you can see I actually hand drew this, in case you were wondering, I hand drew this myself based off of a sticker I had found online. Um, oh god, my caps lock is on. No, my lock is off though. Um, sorry, give me a second. So basically, this is what it is. Now, um, I'm ready to save it. So basically, as I said, everything's below the line. Everything's ready to go. Now, I could be slightly off on my line placement. We're going to find out, but I believe I'm pretty much spot on. And this is the specific, um, like if we go into the open dev, uh, which I have open, not this one. Um, stand by. I thought I had it open, and I did not, and I'm kind of pissed about it. Okay, here it is, uh, quick and easy. So if we go into the open depth, this is what it looks like. You open it with Renoir, at least I do. Um, super easy that way. Um, we're going to vehicle, truck, upgrade, and here's your sun shield visors, the new templates, here's all your templates for it. I used this one specifically. Now, I mean, you have these ones, you just double click it and it opens like that. And there's your template, um, but specifically I use this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my line and I'm going to turn off the background visor. Um, so now you're just left with this. You are left with a, why is there a black one? Okay, it's just a facial glitch, um, which happens. So now I'm just left with what I wanted, my two stickers. And we are going to hit file, save as, and I'm just going to uh, go into downloads, and just put it in downloads. Um, so DDS, um, and we're gonna hit save. We're not gonna change the name, by the way. The name has to stay exactly the same. Bowtie Visor Overlay DDS with the two underscores. Um, as you can see, here's my thing. There is, I mean, you can view it. There's both sides. Um, BC3 Linear DXT5, exactly the one you want. I use Perceptual and Font and Generate Minimaps my other settings for this and everything's right so I'm just going to click OK and I'm going to hit flatten. Now here is the thing. You can technically close paint or Photoshop or whatever. Um, it's a bad idea uh, especially if you're not sure what it's going to look like finished inside the game. So I always do after I save it and flatten it I always do control Z and it's going to go back to the state previous before saving and it's going to show me all of my layers again and I'm just going to minimize it like that see perfect and then I can just come back in here here's my project here's all of my other stuff completely ready to go I'm going to close this because I don't need it anymore um, we're going to save all of these as well um, so we're just going to click save because it's all set up um, file save um, and I'm doing multiple different textures to show you the examples of how to do them. It's going to be super simple. You're going to see me do it multiple times and it's going to be easy, but I'm going to, I'm saving all these for the process of using it in the open dev. Now, technically I already have these five in my game. The bow tie is the only exception, um, but I'm doing this for the tutorial. So, um, now because I already know all my stuff's done, um, in my case, I'm just going to close it. Um, I don't need it open. And even if I did, um, um, Uh, we're gonna close it. So basically now we're left with this um, and I'm actually gonna bring my file explorer over here So we are left with two things. So WinRAR and the file explorer um, Basically what I'm gonna do is find my open def um, Which is right here. We're gonna open file location. We're actually gonna go copy and I'm gonna paste it Here so now I have a secondary copy. We're going to Get rid of this, and we're going to open this. 
So we got this. Okay, so this is exactly the one I want. It's on my desktop, perfect. It's not going to fuck with, with my original, which I have in my one folder. And we're going to go to downloads. So here are all of my textures we're gonna play with. So, um, first things first, let's start with the hood ornament. So for that, we're gonna go to vehicle, truck, upgrade, and we're going to go to ornament in here. So you see lion.dds, lion.dds, same name, same everything. We're just gonna drag, drop, and click okay. It's now replaced that image with this. So if we click it, it's gonna open paint.net, and it's gonna show that texture. Cool, perfect, that means it's done. We're gonna go back to here. So it's gonna show all of these ones, right? So for the license plate, we're gonna to go to L plate, go to Peterbilt 389. So you can see these are the swing plates, the three plate uh, options, and these are your four standard plates. Now I used one of the standard plates from an old, from previous, and I'm gonna keep the same, and we're just going to overwrite this one, which is now going to be, <coughs> Um, if I actually click it correctly, it's now going to be my plate, right? Okay. Um, and actually, we can just kind of leave this underneath here and let it be. Okay, so we're going to go back again to the main directory. So now we have um, our doorstep, our overlay right here. So I actually changed mine from its original to one of the new ones. So you have C and you have D variants of everything here. So C is for the custom doorsteps. D is for all of the factory doorsteps. That has been said by Joel himself, so you can't come at me for being wrong. Um, <laughs> but as you can see, these are pretty much what the original ones were, I believe. And then these are all the newer ones. Uh, one through nine. Okay, so I use, because we already have the first um, three taken up, I changed mine to overlay 4C. Um, so it's going to replace this one right here. And if we double click it, it's going to show it's been replaced. Cool. Um, and now we have three left. Now, I mean, this is super simple, guys. So you saw me make my one texture. It's easy. Um, so here's the plaque. This is um, right here in the chrome decor right here going to drag it's going to replace that first one i'm not going to bother showing you because i mean i just showed you the first three it's pretty assumed that i replaced it um we'll get to the roll and logo and we'll go to the bow tie visor so we go into here simple drag and drop click ok it's going to add it to the archive it's this modifying this one specifically um and now so now all we have left is our roll and logo so we're going to go back oh too far so when we clicked upgrade here we had the second option here Peterbilt 389 this is going to be where all of your interior stuff is so you have your three ceilings your 10 color samples these are for your dashboards um your custom dashboards let me be specific you have your 10 floor selections some of them already have textures like see this one um you just overwrite the textures with what you want and you're good to go um you have your knob logos, and then you have your knob textures. E and by the way, so the color samples, the logos, and the textures all correspond to the same thing. So if you're using three and you want to change your knob logo on top of that and your texture, make sure you're using three for each one. Um, I've never actually tested that, but that is that makes sense to me. So you know, we're going with it. And then you have your three logos. These are your door logos. Um, and then there's, on some variants, there is a hood, or not a hood, um, is the, the, where the ornament goes. If you're not using the ornament, there will be one of these logos there as well. Um, that changes with the doors as well. And they're also on the speakers now, too, in some of the interior, newer interiors that I saw. Um, as you can see, I got projects and shit and stuff going on so um but it's basically so i use 10 because these two are being used by other buddies in my pack but we are using these and so we're going to replace it and now we are done i'm actually going to delete all of these because i don't want them and uh so basically we're done so we can close this we can close this and now we have an open def with completely edited textures and everything um so now we're gonna open this back up and go to documents, go to 
our American Truck Simulator folder, go into our mods folder, and we're just going to drag our open depth into there. Now it is in here, right here. And we can minimize this and open our game. Simple as that, guys. Literally simple as that. And I'll show you it and everything. Um, we'll get the game launched. Okay, so next step would be to go into your mod manager. Now this is set up completely for convoy that I was doing last night, but we're going to open our activate our open def, and we are just going to drag it all the way down to right here, um, right above the key. And I usually stick. I always put my sounds above my my truck files, so that's where that's going. <laughs> Um, and we're just going to hit confirm, so it's in there. Um, but actually, what I'm going to do for the sake of this test, so you know it works, um, for the sake, I'm taking out all of my skin textures, because um, they are going to uh, overwrite that open depth, but I want you to see that it works. So I just have the open depth in there, none of my skins are in there. Um, but yeah, I usually combine my files, so a lot of my step boxes and stuff are in those skin files that I just took out. Right now we are just kind of waiting for my game to load. For the love of God. Yeah, and I'm going to put those skins back in. But for the moment... Alright, so we are back in the game. Yes, my truck is black, but that's because I don't have my skin on it. Sadly, because I just took it out. Um, but anyway, we're going to go into the truck mod dealer, and I'm going to show you each and every one of the things. So we are actually going to scroll past. Um, click here. So here is the custom truck. We're going to go in here. We're going to start with the exterior stuff because that's where the most. We only have the one interior option to view. Um, but as you can see, we already have step boxes chosen. Um, that's one, there we go. So there is the step box. Works perfectly fine. There you go. Perfect. Sits on there beautifully and perfectly. Um, we go to the hood ornament. We click here. Um, where is it? There it is. Custom hood pull. And there you go, there's your texture. Shows up perfectly. Um, uh, okay, exterior stuff. What else do we got? Um, <laughs> oh, license plate. Um, there we go, there's our custom license plate. Um, so it's three of the th five that we did? Yeah. And then the sun shield and the two interior. Um, oh, and the plaque. So that's six, actually. We're waiting to go in the interior. I may have to actually go to the other one, put on a custom interior. Yeah, we're going to put on a custom interior. Oh 
boy. Now this is nowhere quick. A lot of talking involved. Sorry about that, but it is what it is. Um, okay, so we're using that one. I may have to sneeze again. For the love of God, please no. Um, we're just going to switch to a custom white interior. Um, not going to worry about full gauge. Um, go back to this selection. Okay, so here we have our plaque. So we use plaque one. Um, you can't really see it, but there is text there. It did change. Um, same thing with here. We got our custom badges. Like so, if we do yellow badge, um, not that one. Here we go. Um, and we're going to do this one. No. There we go. So you see, it's the den. Um, it actually changes up here now too. And um, I believe if I take out the plaque, it would change there too. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. It's black, but you can kind of see that there's a den there. I can't remember. Yeah, you can see it over here too on the speaker. It's really nice. I kind of like it. Um, so there's that, the plaque, and the moment of truth, the visor you've all been waiting for. So if we use, um, and any of these bow ties, I think, technically work for it. Um, but we want a specific one. Bow tie one. We're gonna use the chrome version in this case. Um, the painted one works just as well. Um, but you can see, so I was mostly right. You can see where it all lines up, right? <laughs> and we throw this one on. There's a, there's my little lady. Now she's a little bit too big um, because I was off. Um, but if we try one of the other visors. So because they're painted, I might have to make my truck white to see. Um, and we go back inside. I don't, I don't know if it's going to, why it's going to do that. I have no idea. Um, anyway. So going back to this, so yeah, so it does work. Um, my sizing was off, so you probably need to go a little bit lower. Um, than where my line was, a lot lower, but essentially that is the gist of it. Um, so yeah, there you go, it all works. I showed you how to do it. Um, with that, I'm going to reset up my mods really quick. And yeah, so basically with that um, being said, um, That works. I don't know why that's so so shrunk. Um, yeah, we're just gonna end it there. Uh, but yeah, anyway. So um, yeah, thanks for watching this. Uh, leave a like, do whatever. I don't care. Um, use this as many times as you possibly need. Um, because it's gonna help you. Uh, so have a great night and enjoy.